What's going on everyone? Hope you're doing well. It's Robert from Pheasant Lane Farm here with the kiddo. We are running into town. Uh, I did a little video on this the other day and then the uh, for some reason there was no audio with it. So I figured I would redo it, kind of hit the key points real quick. So the point of this video is we've been looking for a dump trailer. Um, I went back and forth between a gooseneck or a bumper pull. I ended up uh, deciding I wanted to go the bumper pull route just because not everybody's truck in the family has a gooseneck in it. Uh, my dad's truck does, this truck does, my brother's truck doesn't, and uh, you know, we never know really who's gonna be using the trailers on any given day. So that, uh, that was the determining factor on that. Um, it's really not that much more to go to a gooseneck. Um, they, do, they, they do take up a little bit more room when you park them, but it is what it is. So we decided that we were going to look for a bumper pull, 12 to 14 foot, and I wanted a uh, you know 14,000 pound rated trailer. So that's what we started looking for. And we started, well I started doing research, uh, kind of when my wife and I were like, you know it might not be a bad idea to have a dump trailer. So we... Uh, I got online, like I always do. Um, there's a couple Facebook groups that uh, I see dump trailers on quite often, um, which would be kind of the, well, two kind of categories. Seems a lot of the tractor guys or the Facebook pages for compact tractors, mid-sized tractors, um, guys are always using dump trailers. So I asked on there, hey, what do you guys recommend? What brands would you stay away from? The other category is these guys that sell firewood. Um, there's a couple of Facebook groups out there called Firewood Sellers, stuff like that. And these guys are hauling their, you know, they sell in bulk, they're hauling in dump trailers. So I also asked a question on there, and you're always going to have a few smart asses, which is fine. Um, but for the most part, um, guys are really helpful. And uh, they mentioned some brands that I'd never heard of. My family was in trailer sales for years. Um, some of these brands... Um, I've never heard of maybe because they only make dump trailers and we sold primarily horse and stock trailers um, So started looking um, the brands that I looked at in person were PJ Big Tex Mort's Diamond C There's a few more that I can't think of off the top of my head, but we stopped and looked at um, there's a few other ones out there that um, these guys on these Facebook groups would tell me about and uh, I'd looked at either they didn't have anything in stock and as of right now if you know trailers are hard to get there's guys that have been waiting um, for months and months to get trailers some dealers it's right now it's uh, it's almost October some of the dealers I called and spoke with said we're sold out we're not even expecting replacement inventory until February and March for some reason you know well not some reason basically because of COVID is what I was told either the factory shut down for a while and got behind or the factories can't get the steel they need so they got behind or they can't get the axles they need one way or another everyone said it was uh, based off of COVID so uh, nothing unexpected there uh, some of the brands that uh, people told me about that I checked out kind of online and I called some dealers but they really didn't have a whole lot in stock especially where I am in this part of the country um, I called and spoke to a guy who sold BY's trailers um, I called and spoke to a dealer that sells, sells Griffin trailers um, and like I said I'm just doing this off the top of my head there's a few more that I called and checked out um, sure track I want to say corn pro I might be wrong on that one but I'm pretty sure I called a corn pro dealer um, but a lot of these guys, you know, same thing. We don't have anything in stock or what they do have in stock at 10,000 pound axles, way overkill for what I want. Which brings us to the next point, um, what we want a trailer for. So we start doing the firewood stuff. I've been doing tractor jobs for people uh, for the last six months, basically since I bought the tractor. Uh, I've done some gardens for people, some other stuff like that. People have contacted me, hey, can you come? Um, brush hog can you come disc up a food plot it'd be nice to have a dump trailer um, for that reason um, they can hold the tractor in it I can leave the tractor at a job I can go get stone mulch gravel dirt whatever you need 
um, a little bit more flexible than what my flatbed is. Also, we live down a 900 foot stone driveway. When we moved in six months ago, we had 130 ton of stone brought in. Um, I don't always need big loads like that. And I'm literally a mile and a half from two different limestone quarries. So uh, I can run over there, you know, grab five tons here and there and keep a little bit stockpiled as I wanna keep expanding that one parking pad I put in. Also sawdust, we go through quite a bit of sawdust uh, for the two horses. There is a pallet shop three miles from my house that they use all kiln dried wood and they collect all their shavings and they use them, they put them in a giant silo and then once or twice a week, um, first come first serve on certain days and I think it's 40 or $50 to fill up as big a trailer as you have. So that would be some cost savings there. And another thing is just, we're still trying to clean up around our house. For a while, we were on just a huge waiting list to get a roll off dumpster. And then I got thinking, you know what? I see these guys renting these out as, you know, dumpsters. Um, so why am I paying someone to drop off a huge dumpster on their time frame? If I have this dump trailer, if I get a day off, I can start working on some of the projects. Once the leaves come off, we have a lot of uh, cleanup that we put on hold just because it's too thick right now. So I got some more land to clear, um, got some more stone to haul, and then I got a couple little metal buildings I wanna haul in for scrap. I know scrap's not worth anything right now, but it's better than having them sit around the house. Um, so just a ton of things like that. And then, um, and then, you know, people are like, well, hey, you know, we may be interested in renting that for us to fill it up as a dumpster. So that's kind of another possibility. Um, you know, in my local area, there's really not an immediate, there's not anyone super close that has little roll-offs. And the other big thing I'm finding is when we were looking for a roll-off, a lot of guys are like, do you have a concrete driveway? And I said, no. And they said, we will not lay on concrete driveway. We don't put boards down. We don't do anything. Uh, because no matter what, if someone gets a crack, they blame it on us. We totally do not service anybody with a concrete driveway right now. Well, that opens up a lot of opportunity. If you have a dump trailer and you can park it in somebody's driveway for 24 or 36 hours, um, 48 hours, whatever they want. And they can chuck their garbage in there or, you know, remodel projects. And then, you know, I can haul it away. I can make a little bit of profit and uh, it's not a bad deal there. So there's just, I think the versatility of a dump trailer uh, is just, there's a ton, ton of versatility with those trailers, as opposed to the flatbed where it's good at some things, it's not good at others. Um, and then the other big thing is now that we're buying logs and processing wood, I have people that wanna buy in bulk, um, even though we're not to that point yet, or I don't have enough seasoned wood to sell in bulk. We are selling bundles right now. We are, um, you know, kind of getting in the wood game a little bit. And then the guy I buy my logs off of says, well, hey, if you have a dump trailer, or well, actually he saw my flatbed because they deliver my logs. He goes, I will charge you like half price if you come pick this stuff up. So that's money in the bank right there. So it's not, we're not buying this dump trailer for any one reason, but there's many reasons where, you know, it's kind of makes sense for us right now. So back to the research after we kind of covered that. Um, I looked at Big Techs and they're a decent trailer. Um, it seems to be the big concern with Big Techs and PJ is the powder coat quality is not there. Um, I don't know what quality of steel they're using, but uh, my dad's kind of possibly in the market for like a new 30, 32 foot gooseneck. So we drove the next state over uh, last week and looked at a dealer that had Big Tex, Diamond C, and I think something else. Um, the fit and finish on a Diamond C trailer is just fantastic. Um, the Big Tex dumps, the guys like, you know, for the price point, guys buy them, they beat them up, they sell them in five years and buy a new one. Um, I'm kind of the opposite. I buy something, I like to take care of it, and I like to keep it for a long time. Um, and uh, there was about a $2,000 price difference on a 14 foot, because uh, that's what he had on the lot, between a Big Tex and a Diamond C. On the uh, 
we went out and looked at some of their flatbeds and the big tex flatbeds the metal that they used on the gooseneck was so pitted before they you could see it through the powder coating just absolutely horrible pitted metal and it's like that's not gonna last the diamond c i know it's a powder coat trailer as well i've done some research on their stuff and it is uh it's top of the line but i'm still scared of powder coat because of the fact if you nick it you gouge it you anything um you know running chains across it um even just stone coming out of it once you wear that powder coat off there's really nothing you can do um and it's going to start rusting eventually um but all those trailers except for morts are powder coated the pj i'm just going to tell you right now i have buddies that have pj trailers uh goosenecks i have your flatbeds i know people that have pj dumps they look like crap in six months my buddy kept his in a barn never drove it in the winter or used it in the winter i should say it just looked horrible um some of the pjs i looked at the welds are absolutely horrible i'm not knocking anybody i am not a good welder by any means but uh if you're putting on a trailer uh, and you're selling these they're just horrible um, one of the guys on one of the tractor pages I follow custom ordered a PJ gooseneck dump and where the gooseneck frame subframe meets the front of the trailer I think it's a 10 inch I-beam they literally hit two inches on the top of the weld bowed all the way out missed the two pieces of metal there's no penetration and then came back in at the bottom so they couldn't even follow a straight weld line. It's like, oh, I'm not buying a PJ. Um, I've just heard too many horror stories from them. Friends that own them said they would never buy them again. I know some of the hot shot guys think they're the best trailers out there. But uh, PJ kind of got knocked off my list just from personal experiences from people that own them that uh, I've been around while they've owned these trailers. Um, that brings up Moritz. I really like the Mortz trailers. They're built well. Um, one of the things on the Mortz that kind of turned me off was the, the lack of options. Now, I know this because my family sold Mortz horse and stock trailers um, in the 90s. And you basically get what you get. There's not a whole lot of custom options, and it's still that way to this day. It is what it is. Um, I asked a dealer if I could get a Mortz built with higher sides instead of the 24. He said, we've tried to ask them. They say, no, you get what we make. So my dad and I went to a different dealer. Actually, the day I got this truck, on the way back, we were over by Pennsylvania. On the way back, there's a dealer that sells primarily Diamond C and Mortz. Um, started looking at the Mortz, and I really like the Mortz trailers. And from all my other online research, the Diamond C is a more expensive trailer than the Mortz. So I thought, you know, the Mortz is just kind of a nice, happy medium for me. Um, I like the fact that they're painted. You can always sand them down, reshoot them with some primer and some paint if they get nicked up. Um, you know, I know the family that owns these trailers, that makes these trailers. Um, so, you know... Um, I was kind of leaning towards a Mortz, and then I started talking to this dealer. I was like, what do you guys sell more of, Diamond C or Mortz? And he goes, well, we sell more Diamond C. And I said, really? He said, you're only 50 miles away from the Mortz manufacturing facility. He goes, yeah. He goes, uh, but Diamond C, we sell them cheaper here. And I said, hold up a second. I said, you sell a Diamond C cheaper than you sell a Mortz? And he goes, yeah. He goes, almost everything on a Mortz is an add-on. The tarp kit's an add-on. Um, there's just a lot of things that, from the factory, that you get a base price, but as an add-on. He goes, with the Diamond C, their tarp kits are a little cheaper, this, that, and the other. Showed me some different options and such, and he said, uh, you know, we can sell this Diamond C. I, th I don't know, I'll have to look at the papers sitting here, but I'm driving right now. Um, the Diamond C, I believe, was $500 cheaper than a Mortz for the same trailer. They're specced out the same. 7,000 pound axles, 24 inch sides, tarp kit, um, like I said, 14 foot long bumper pull, everything. 
And I said, really? And he goes, yeah. So he had a new Mort sitting there that I was looking at. And I will say this, anybody that's familiar with Mort's trailers, like I said, I know the family. Um, I'm not knocking them. They were really good to my family while we sold them. But the paint on Mort's trailers have never been great. Uh, especially in the 90s, they were horrible. I know my mom and dad were always hauling them back to the factory for warranty paint job work. And I don't think it was necessarily a paint issue. I think it was a metal prep issue. Um, but they've since figured that out a little bit. Um, the dealer said that they're not peeling like they used to. The paint holds up. But the thing I noticed, they had just gotten one off from a delivery like right before I pulled in. And the whole trailer is covered in paint runs. So, I mean, I guess you're, at least you're putting your paint on thick enough. But, like, and I know paint doesn't matter. They're going to wear off. They're going to get beat up. It's a dumb trailer. But that just kind of turned me off there. Like, the whole thing's covered in paint runs. And then once I found out that I could buy a Diamond C less than I can buy a Mords, we pulled the trigger on a Diamond C. Uh, it was kind of a split decision. Those were kind of the two main ones I had been researching online for a couple months. Um, well, about a month and a half, actually. And, uh... You know, everyone I talk to, I got a couple buddies that own construction companies, and they're like, we run Mort's, um, you know, Diamond C is the Cadillac of the trailers, but you're going to pay for a Diamond C. Everywhere I looked online, online places that had them listed for sale, uh, Diamond C's were usually about fifteen to $2,000 more uh, than a competitively outfitted uh, trailer by a different brand. So when they told me the price difference and that the Diamond C's cheaper, um, I was kind of sold. The only issue is they had like four dump trailers on a lot and they had probably 20 or 25 goosenecks. All of them were Diamond C except one was a Mort's. So started looking around and talking to the guys at the lot and he goes, well, he goes, I know it looks like we don't have a lot here. I think there was six dump trailers there. That new Mort's that had just arrived that hadn't been spoken for. Um, there was one diamond or two diamond C's that were already spoken for and then there was a couple more diamond C's and maybe another Mort's um, that hadn't been spoken for yet but one was a 16 and talking to those guys uh, they pretty much said hey the price difference between a 12 and a 14 is minimal um, so we decided to go with a 14 I can get the tractor in there a little better um, so we walked in and he goes we have at any given time, if I'm wrong, I'll find out tonight, but I want to say he said that at any given time, they have four or five hundred trailers on order from Diamond C. He told me they sell over a thousand Diamond C trailers a year, and they constantly have an order list, and so many trailers on order, they don't know what's showing up. So he said, hey, let's step in the office. Let's uh, see what we got coming in. And this would have been two weeks ago. He goes, in three weeks, I got a red 12-foot uh, Diamond C coming in. He goes, in five weeks, I got a black 12-foot Diamond C coming in. And then he's like, oh, wait. In 10 days, I have a 14-foot Diamond C coming in. Here's the options. Here's how we ordered it. Here's the price. So I kind of looked at it. And I looked at my dad. And my dad's kind of giving me that look like, you better buy it because uh, this is a good deal. And uh, I said, all right, what do I got to do to hold it? I mean, obviously, I wasn't planning on buying a trailer today. Um, he said, hey, give me 200 bucks, and uh, we'll put your name on it, and we won't sell it. And whenever it comes in, get down here when you can. Um, like I said, today's Wednesday. It came in last Saturday. So uh, I usually don't carry a lot of cash. For some reason, I had 150 bucks in my wallet. Gave it to them. They said, that's good enough for us. So they put my name on it and then called me when it showed up. So, uh, wife's at work today. Um, she goes in the office a couple hours a day and then works from home the rest of the time. So when she gets home, I think she took off half the day. We're going to run down and pick this trailer up. I'm excited. Um, she's actually excited about it. Um, just, uh, it's really going to help the small business that we got going out here right now. So, um, I will do another video once we get it, once we get it checked out, but I'm excited. My dad and I have been talking, and my grandfather, for years, how nice it would be to have a dump trailer. Uh, my grandfather started selling trailers, I want to say, in 1948. He's 93 now. He's riding down there with me today to pick this thing up. Um, and he still sells trailers. 
he's mostly semi flatbeds specialized trailers like that uh, technically sold his company two years ago but now he's starting to dabble in it again he just can't give it up so um, it's pretty cool my grandpa's excited he's we were start kind of looking at trailers together so we're gonna go down there pick this thing up and I'll show you another video of it when we get home hopefully everything goes well uh, I think the only thing I have to do is I told him uh, I want a spare tire for it um, and that's that so I'm in town here got some running to do kiddo and I are gonna go hang out spend the day together wait till mom gets home from work and then we're gonna go get the trailer right you still awake all right that's good so all right thanks for watching and uh, thanks for checking us out and we'll have a video up shortly on the new diamond sea